お前の記憶にはアルファ世界線へ行きクリスと共に生き眉毛を救うために多くの思いを犠牲にしてそれでももがき続けた3週間の経験が存在しているはずだ島峰でラジガンの暗い通路に倒れているクリスの姿を見なければ Nothing would have happened. お前は誰に D メールを送ることもなかったしそれがエシロンに捕らえられることもなかったその後クリスに再会した時お前が妙なことを口走ることもなくクリスがお前に興味を抱くこともなかった<笑>そして今そこに立つお前がタイムトラベルしてでもクリスを助けたいと思うこともなかったんだ2025年の俺がシュタインズゲートに到達するための計画を立てることもなく2025年の俺がこうしてお前にムービーメールを送ることもなくダルと共に2036年までにタイムマシンを完成させることもなく鈴葉がタイムマシンでお前の元へ現れることもなかったお前が経験したわずか3週間の世界線漂流を否定してはいけないなかったことにしてはいけないいくつもの世界線を旅してきたからこそクリスを助けたいと強く願うお前がそこにクリスを助けたいと願いその後の人生すべてをタイムマシン開発に捧げた2025年の俺がいるお前が立っているその場所は俺たちがクリスを助けたいと願ったからこそ到達できた瞬間なんだ世界線をどれか一つでも移動しなかった俺ではその瞬間へは到達できなかったんだ全て意味があったことなんだよ俺の計画の下準備は完了したあとはお前次第だ、oh. 最終ミッション、oh, so、オペレーションスクルドの概要を説明する Wait, is that a tip? <gasps> It is! Skuld. So the youngest of the three Norns, goddesses of fate in Norse mythology. The three sisters tend to the world, or tend the world tree Yggdrasil, which has roots in Erd's fountain. Skuld is the Norn of, of the future, also a Valkyrie. That's all of me tips. Hell yes, I think. Just want to double check. So, ba, 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 ba. Oh, yeah, I got every dip. Woohoo! 確定した過去を変えずに結果を変えろ。Oh, is it a different song? 島見れで倒れているマキセクリスト。それを目撃したオカメに至ろう。その過去は確定している。だが逆に言えば、確定しているのはそれだけだ。最初のお前を騙せ世界を騙せそれがシュタインズゲートに到達するための選択だ健闘を祈るぞ狂気のマッドサイエンティストよ<笑>エルプサイコングルコングルイエーイあ、there we go スコールは added to tips and with that the video ends I wonder if I got a trophy I don't care about trophies, but I'm curious, is there a trophy for getting every tip? Unless, maybe you just get all the tips regardless. Wait, I've unlocked more CG, I think. No, maybe not. Oh well. I was gonna look at something. I, oh yeah, I'm gonna try and look at CG, I can't do that. With that, the video ends. Mayori and Dario looked dumbfounded. They obviously didn't understand a single word. I, however. Oh man, I like this song. Laughter bubbles up from the depths of my, my soul. Not minutes ago, I was lost in despair. I was ready to kill myself for what he had done. 
But now, I'm laughing. <laughs> Operation Scold. LSI Kongru. <laughs> it's pathetic, laughable, a juvenile fantasy. But at the same time, it feels right. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okarin <laughs> just isn't Okarin unless he's, unless he's laughing like an idiot. <笑>この絵たち。そんなことも分からないのか確定した過去は血まみれで倒れている巻きせクリスト。それを目撃した俺だけ。それ以上でもそれ以下でもない。クリスが血まみれで倒れていたのを見ただけ。そのクリスが生
My actions that day, Mayori's actions, my conversation with Gorizu Nakabachi's presentation. With those memories to guide me, I begin to draw up a plan for how to complete my mission. Ah, oh, that was the... Okay. Oh. Okay. I open my eyes once I hear Mayori's voice. What did you get us? I love this song. I take a deep breath and stand up. Mayori's fast, faster on her feet than Daru and I are, so I had her pick up some things for me. She went all the way to the lab and back in the sweltering heat, but she's not even breathing hard. She runs up to me with a triumphant smile, almost like a playful puppy shaking her tail. In her hand is a plastic stick, about 30 centimeters long. I take it and nod in satisfaction. Plastic stick. She hands me a banana. I guess she's telling me not to time travel on an empty stomach. Oh. A sword? Uh, it looks like a lightsaber. Oh. <laughs> Spark Wars. Oh my god. It's <laughs> like non infringing names. <laughs> Spark Wars, Ghost in the Ball, Juju, Code Geass. <laughs> I love it. シノリオ <laughs> Mm -hmm. I stuffed my cheeks with banana, enraptured by my own genius. I truly am a mad scientist. I put the Silum Saber into my pocket. It's about 30 centimeters long, so it sticks out a little, but I don't mind. I had Dara buy me a stun gun earlier. I pocket that too. With this, my preparations are complete. I give Scissor Harry Lens. God, it's night time. In 30 minutes. Fuck me. Fantastic, um, Daft Punk song. I was gonna say, she did say one more time, not one more trip. I was gonna say, if it's one more trip, that's not a Daft Punk song. Our last chance. Ooh. Hell yeah. I follow Suzuhai into the time machine. While waiting for Mayuri to return, I asked Suzuhai if there was a chance that I might run into myself from last time. In other words, the me who killed Kurisu. She replied that wasn't possible. The world line where I pulled, well, where I killed Kurisu is minutely different from the one to which the time machine will take us. Time travel has a very small effect on divergence, much too small to cause any noticeable changes, but enough to ensure that there can never be two versions of the same time traveller. Oh. However, it is important to remember that world lines are not parallel, parallel worlds. Ultimately, a tractor field convergence merges them into a single world line. My actions are not meaningless. If I succeed in deceiving both myself and the world, the entire universe will converge upon a different future. Mayuri leans through the hatch and gently strokes my cheek. <laughs> I return the smile and give her a thumbs up. I close the hatch as Daru and Mayuri see me off with words of encouragement. Scissor has already operated the time machine.
says I have to speak, so she presses some buttons. No pressure. Instead of answering, I close my eyes. I find myself strangely calm. No impatience, no tension, none of the anxiety I felt the first time. How many times have I, fa have I tasted failure? My hubris hurt, mo hurt those closest to me. My foolishness cost them their dreams. And even though those mistakes have been undone, the memories still remain as a brand on my heart. They all meant something. Every mistake, every sacrifice. Without them, I would not be standing here now. From that knowledge, I draw strength, confidence, and pride. The memories I shoulder deserve nothing less. And so, I am no longer afraid. I will reach the unknown world line, Steins Gate. Its future is uncertain, but that is how it should be. For once, I need not worry what fate has in store. One th one, uh, only one thing matters now. Saving Kurisu. Oh! Gravity pulls up my back. Rainbow lights start drifting through the compartment. It's time. This is my Ragnarok. Oh yeah! I exit the time machine onto the familiar rooftop. I love this song. It's so good. As before, it's empty. I can see the top of the train station a short distance away. This is the third time I've been here now. I run through the plan in my head one last time. Time is short, but I have no choice. I have to do it. No, I will do it. Failure isn't an option. I wait for Sutter to break the lock, then I run inside just like last time. Ah, here we go. First and foremost, narrowly avoiding the first, the first me again, I descend to the seventh floor. Last time I went all the way down to the fourth floor, but not this time. I direct my attention to the capsule toy machines near the landing. It's time for step one. We get the Metal Uber. Ryanet Kakaru Character Doll Series. This is it. On July 28th, 28th, the first me won a super rare metal Uber from this very machine. No time to waste. I insert the 100 yen coin I prepared beforehand and turn the, the lever hard. A capsule falls into the slot. And just as I grab it... My heart leaps into my throat. That was Mayori's voice. She's already here? I quickly turn and leave the area before Mayori can see my face. Luckily, she's so entranced by the capsule time machines that she doesn't realize who I am. Oh. Once I get down to the fourth floor, I check the contents of the capsule. There it is. The metal looper is inside. This is the prize that was meant for me. Which means the first me will get... The answer is obvious. Phase one is complete. Time for phase two. I turn around abruptly. And there she is. Kurisu is standing behind me, her mouth open in surprise. My timing was perfect. Oh. Leave everything to me. I say no more. If I tell her everything, she'll have no reason to talk to the first me. On July 28th, she came to me during Nakabachi's presentation. She claimed that I had tried to, to tell her something. Then proceeded to drag me out into the hallway for further questioning. This, this is part of my experience. This should be enough to ensure that it happens exactly as I remember. I pat Karizu on the shoulder, then race back up the stairs. I run to the 6th floor, then creep, creep up towards the 7th floor, landing until I can just make out the capsule toy machines. Oh! As expected, the first, there's the first me about to turn the lever in my Uri's stead. <laughs> I love how it's just muffled. There we go. I grin to myself. It worked. The order changed. Mayuri now has a regular Uber, not the metal one I gave her the first time. And that means... The presentation's about to begin. The first me heads up to the 8th floor. But Mayuri doesn't move, she takes out the, a pen and starts signing the Uber. Just as planned. 
When Dr. Nakabachi defe defected to Russia on August 21st, he had Mayori's metal Uber with him. If he had a plastic one instead, it should change the fate of, Nakabachi of the Nakabachi paper. But one question remains, how exactly did Mayori's Uber fall into Dr. Dr. Nakabachi's hands? I mean, I, I, I have a feeling it was Karisu that found the Upa and then put it in the envelope because she thought it was cute. There's no reason why Nakabachi would pick it up. I watch as Mayori finishes signing her name, she nods in satisfaction, then runs after the first me. Just before she gets to the stairs, she puts the Upa into her coat, po coat pocket. But doesn't go in all the way. As she runs up the stairs, I see it fall out and roll away. Mayori is completely oblivious, a moment later she disappears from sight. I look. I look at the Upa lying on the floor. Does Nakabachi pick it up? How? He's in the middle of his presentation upstairs. He doesn't have any opportunity. No, Kurisu does. Knew it. That's when Kurisu comes from downstairs. Or comes up from downstairs. I quickly hide in the stairwell across the landing. Ah, oh, that animation. <laughs> so it was her. Kurisu reaches the seventh floor without noticing me. She finds the fallen Upa and picks it up. So it was Kurisu who found the Upa. The butterfly effect. In three weeks, this completely innocuous event changes the outcome of an accidental fire on one of what must be thousands of planes flying that day. By extension, it changes the fate of the entire human race. God, they really picked an incredible song for this. It's so good! It's very simple, but I like it. It just, it feels like a triumphant song. Kurisu looks curiously at the Upa, then looks around as if searching for the owner. Of course, Kurisu doesn't know who Mayori is. At this point in time, those two aren't even acquainted yet. And also, it doesn't say Mayori on it, it says Ma Mayushi. After realizing there's no one around, Kurisu puts the Upa in her envelope and goes up to the 8th floor. Now that I've seen what I need to see, I go upstairs too and head to the employee hallway. Right, this is where. There we go. Here's where it gets serious. I grip the Silume Saber and shake it silently, thus activating the red fluorescent reaction inside. It, it'll last about 10 minutes. It should get dim before Kurisu makes her appearance. I know what I need to do. The problem is that my window of opportunity is so slim. Will I be able to handle the enraged Dr. Nakabachi? One mistake and Kurisu will die. <laughs> すべては俺の思惑通りに行くに決まっているさ。オペレーションスクルドに不備はない。何せこの俺が15年の時をかけて練り上げた計画なのだから、俺は俺を信じる。この法を隠居間を信じる。法を隠居間を信じる。I close my eyes and wait for the time to come, hidden behind the same pile of cardboard boxes as last time. I hear the sound of sparse applause from the event hall, which means I should be hearing footsteps soon. There we go. <laughs> right on cue. There they are. Kurisu has come right on time. She leans against the wall and looks inside her envelope, smiling softly as she does. And now I know the reason behind that smile. It's the Upa inside. Oh, She's probably smiling at how adorable it is. That smile really doesn't suit you, Kurisu. I stifle a chuckle. I'm surprised I'm calm enough to feel that way despite the current situation. Once Nakabachi appears, that's my signal to spring into action. I'll bring out the Sayaloom Saber as soon as that bastard tries to take out his knife. Then I'll scare him away and stun Kurisu. The stun gun I brought should handle both tasks flawlessly. That's the plan, at least. The next, foot, uh, next set of footsteps echoes down the hallway. Kurisu looks up. I can't see Nakabachi, but I know it's him. <sighs> Even the words she speaks are the same.
The atmosphere is far from pleasant, Nakabachi doesn't even try to hide his displeasure. And the first me is probably at fault for that, at least partially. Looks like it's about time for Nakabachi to go ballistic. I grip the Sailoom Saber and, to, and make one final check. It's already dimmed down. Now all I have to do is remove the cap at the tip and the fake blood will... Uh oh. My breath catches in my throat. In the darkness of my hiding spot, I ring the Sailoom Saber close to my eyes and peer inside. The fake blood has begun to coagulate. No, this shouldn't happen. I was certain the liquid would remain fluid for around 30 minutes after losing luminescence. Was it a defective? Come to think of it, we never tested the Sailoom Saber. It can only be used once before the tube needs to be replaced. Replaced. Given the life's financial situation, we thought it would be a waste to use it, so we never did. How could I have failed to consider the possibility? If I'd had half a brain, I would have brought a spare. This is bad. The planet's falling apart. Bloody hell. Nakabachi's shrill shriek startles me. The time won't stop for me. How do I recover from this setback? I can't leave. Nakabachi is about to attack his daughter. If I'm making my appearance after that, it'll be the same as last time. I'll end up killing Kurizu again. No matter what, I can't let that happen. What do I do? Do I go Do I go back to the time machine and try again? No, remember what Suza has said. There's not enough fuel for another trip. This is my last chance. My heart is pounding. I'm sweating like crazy. It feels like I've just run a, mar a marathon. I cover my mouth to suppress the sound of my breathing. Oh dear. Nakabachi is about to snap. Events are proceeding just like last time, barreling inexorably towards disaster. Please, I find myself begging, make time stop. But another voice from within, from within answers. Are you praying, ho in Kyoma? Have you forgotten? Change the future. Deceive the world. I won't call it the mercy of a heartless god. I will save Kurusu myself. She won't die again. Not at my hands. Not at anyone's. Hmm. Alright, now it begins. Nakabachi strikes Kurizu on the cheek. It's starting. Nakabachi puts his hands around Kurizu's neck. Her cries of agony fill my ears. There's still a way to prevent Kurizu's death. That puddle of blood I saw beneath Kurizu's body. There's one more way to reproduce it. One more way. One last chance. It's a gamble to be sure. Even if it succeeds, I don't know what effect it will it might have on the Steinsgate world line. Right, I remember I remember this. 
like the the one more way. It's very reckless.